What, what is the state of tour at the moment? You see, when a country has no plan, strategy, uh, has no idea uh, what to do with its own uh, resources, uh, you would expect that for everything that the state controls or owns, uh, it will continue to be the bad business as usual. Uh, you know, a loss-making entity. Uh, nothing good happens uh, at the end of the accounting year, while the private-led uh, entities doing same or similar work uh, publishing their profits. The state ones uh, will come out to tell you that they've recorded losses. And we all sit quietly and applaud. Nobody uh, thinks we leave the So if you ask me what Tor's story has been the past 23, 25 years, uh, this is where it is. I mean, we are running it as though uh, it really belongs to no one. Uh, so whatever we want to do with it, we'll do with it. Tor has not... Uh, being a very good story. You recall in 2004, uh, the tall debt uh, levy was imposed on Ghanaians. Uh, that was 2003. Over 20 years ago, you've been paying for tall. As I speak with you, you go through documents, you are told uh, tall still has about $400 million of debt clear whether the finance ministry is even giving whatever uh, contributions you and I make anytime we buy fuel to tour uh, to be able to manage its own uh, debt portfolio uh, that's another thing but clearly it's an entity that we have no strategy for uh, we've not really sat down as a country uh, to think for uh, and also to tap people uh, to make profit from. So, uh, the back and forth is not surprising, trust me. It is not at all. It's the usual story of all your state entities, and that is why uh, I do think that uh, maybe at some point we may just need to give it away and um, uh, retain some stick in there and see to it that maybe, just maybe, uh, we can't be able to uh, turn it around for the sake of the people who work there uh, for their future and that of their kids.